In this demonstration, I'm going to show you the Heroes engine. And it's a very simple demonstration that's going to show the conversion of chemical to heat and mechanical energy by the, basis, the basics of a steam engine. So what I'm going to do here is I have a cylinder, and this cylinder I'm going to put some water in. So let's get some water. Take this cylinder. I'm just going to pour some water into the hole here. Don't need a lot. Set it on this. I'm going to add these little glass spigots here that are secured by a uh, stopper, having them pointing in opposite directions so that the steam produced can move this. And now I'm going to apply some heat, some propane with a striker. Okay. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm combusting propane. This is a propane torch. And essentially, the heat release from the torch is being absorbed by the cylinder. And there's a transfer of energy from the hot exothermic chemical reaction to the cooler cylinder. Now, we would say that this process is exothermic even though we know the cylinder is absorbing the heat. Wait a minute, someone's absorbing the heat and someone's giving it off. How can it be exothermic? Well, the environment's getting warmer. The chemicals in the torch, okay, are providing chemical energy. They're reacting with the oxygen. And the higher or unstable uh, propane molecules in the torch, okay, are becoming more stable water vapor and CO2. And that difference in stability or, or energy is the energy released. Put it this way, there's more energy that's being released in forming stable low energy bonds, CO2 and water, since this is combustion, than the energy needed to break the bonds of propane. Think about it, the propane is made up of carbons and hydrogens and it's reacting with oxygen. For them to rearrange, you have to break bonds. And it takes energy to do that, always. But that energy, also there's energy released in forming stable ones. So the difference is the heat being released. Now, this cylinder is not getting warm by itself. And you can see that we have some mechanical motion. What's happening is that I'm boiling the vapor, or the water, I should say, creating vapor. And I'm creating this steam engine. I'm also giving off some heat. So clearly, this process works because I am providing energy to the system. And we would say that the warming of the entire system is exothermic with reference to the chemical energy that I'm providing. But if I talk about what's happening inside this Heroes engine, which is what? Boiling water. This boiling of water is endothermic. It takes energy for a liquid to become a gas. And that energy, or that gas, okay, in the gaseous phase, which is being blown out of those spigots, is what's causing the mechanical energy. Okay? And that's the basics of a steam engine. And we're converting chemical energy from the propane and oxygen reaction that's being what? Transferred to the cooler water. And we're having a, causing a physical change. And we're causing the liquid to become a gas, which is tremendous energy. And that gas is flying out those spigots hundreds of miles an hour, moving it. Also, heat is being released. So those are the major transfers. I'm not creating energy. I'm not destroying energy, it's conserved. And I would say the chemical energy being given off by the propane combusting is converted to the mechanical energy, not all of it though, and heat energy. Because if you were to stop this spigot, I'm gonna try to, you would see that there's vapor coming out. I don't know if you can see that, but there's vapor coming out. And there's a lot of 
And if you look careful enough, and I don't know, again, I don't know if you can see it, we're going to have condensation or fog coming out of these spigots, and that's another phase change. So in any case, a great example of conversion of energy, conservation of, of energy hard to look at, because no system's perfect. Yes, it's being conserved, but a lot of heat is being lost, even in your own cars. But certainly the basics of a steam engine, and a pretty cool reaction at that.